Hello, hello, and welcome to another Fallout 4 fashion show episode, featuring 24 of the best outfit and armor mods released in 21 and 22 so far. Wait, what the heck is this? Stop right there, criminal scum. You have committed modding atrocities. Prepare to be punished. Starting hard and heavy with the Gears of War mod Delta Gears, a couple of armor suits and weapons from the Gears universe. And it's really about time. With all the Halo mods around, it's nice to see that the Gears franchise finally also gets some love. Now I know what you're thinking. Somehow this armor looks really puny and scrawny on Fallout 4 characters, and not as wide and manly as it's supposed to. Don't worry, got you covered. There is also a power armor. It's a bit tricky to get though. You have to craft a ring at the camp's workbench and then the actual armor frame in the settlement menu. Somehow it wasn't in the special category for me though, so I spawned it through the console. And also you have to wear this ring for the frame to work correctly. But that's it, that's more like it, am I right? Yes, unfortunately the chainsaw is only for decoration here. Shame, no cutting enemies to pieces this time. And speak of the devil, there is also a new Halo armor pack. Infinite Armory with some marine armors from Halo Infinite. Parts like belts, shoulder guards and backpacks can be equipped separately and also all parts can be customized at the armor workbench to switch out accessories or color patterns. Next, a bunch of Call of Duty inspired armors, starting with the BOCW Outfit Pack. That's a slightly bigger mod containing several combat gears and helmets. Those are parts from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and therefore obviously also very detailed and high quality. KGB, I really love those Russian themed ones. They even got this meme helmet, all I know is that I must kill, love it. The only negative thing is that it's not optimized for female characters, but I'm sure somebody could make a patch. The next one is the Shadow Company from Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. For this one you can change the load out of the gear at the armor workbench. Basically it adds a shitload of accessories. Some of them even have physics, it's pretty cool.
And the next one is called Ghost Jawbone from Modern Warfare. Very badass looking gear with lots of separately equipable accessories. Even a cape to display tactical superiority. But now prepare for something completely different. IW Synaptic lets you become a C6 class remote operated robot from Infinite Warfare. You could say it's like a really heavily upgraded Gen 1 stance. Makes it kinda more lore friendly. Looks even more badass with some of the accessories of the previous mod. Prepare to be eradicated, humans, ha ha ha. Next, a slightly bigger mod again, the NCR outfit pack. Lots of new Vegas-based outfits. Also, of course, including the iconic Ranger armor in many different variations. The next one is called Secret Service Armor. Basically it's like a slimified T60 power armor, even includes a jetpack. So just the right stuff for covert operations, it won't draw any attention at all. Also something is not right with this jetpack, I suspect. Yeah, it turns out it is incompatible with the classic holstered weapons mod. Oh, now I understand, I think. You see, even if you T-pose in sky with the flames around, no one will think you hostile. People think they must off suffer from jet overdose. Next we have the Desert Operator outfits. Okay, it looks like this time it is incompatible with the male characters. Either this, or Ikari started to take gender-changing hormones, in which case I have to delete this character instantly. Also, the headgear is kinda plain and simple here, how about we pep it up a notch with this here. Ops Core Fast Helmet, a very cool mod with lots of tactical headgears. Well, actually just three, the helmet, a balaclava and a gas mask. But the helmet can be modified at the armor workbench and you can equip a lot of different accessories to make it truly tactical. Or if you want a more old-school tactical helmet, try the Zoff one, inspired by the soldiers from Metal Gear Solid 5. Also, if you like those headgear mods, you should also get the Tactical Accessory Compendium mod, which includes all the previous releases of this modder as one easy-to-use pack. And another Metal Gear inspired one is the Heaven Trooper suit. This one is based on Metal Gear Survive. I'm glad to see more Metal Gear stuff, even though it is from this game. There is also a Naked Snake inspired variation of this suit included. And also a lot of eye and camo skins can be swapped out at the armor workbench. Yes, yeah, some really interesting camo options we get here. Take a closer look at those camo textures. Notice anything unusual, or is it just me?
The next mod is a suit of similar nature. It's called just another combat gear. This one is for females only though. It reminds me a bit on Samus Zero suit. And we also get this kind of suit. I guess you could say it's the casual version of the Vault Tech Vault suit. Also comes with a very stylish backpack. Next a couple of mods from the VTOR series. First Miranda, as in Miranda Lawson from Mars Effect. The outfit that literally brought the R's into Mars Effect. I heard they even tried to censor it in the remastered edition, but they failed. It was too much to handle. And the other one is some overalls. Not much to say here, couple of different variations you can choose from, but overall those two mods are not as elaborate as the previous Vito wardrobes. There is, however, much more casual stuff around. Apparently it is super popular now for some reason. Three whole clothes packs featuring mostly sporty looking outfits. Clothes pack 3, 4 and 5. Although I am still not sure if 5 includes the previous stuff or if it is all new outfits. I mean, all this stuff looks very similar and considering that pack 5 is over 11 GB big for the download file alone, if you go for the 4K version, yeah, I don't know, this is madness. But if you think it's still not enough, there is also the Close Pack Remake. Yes, apparently even mods get remakes now, so this is a redone version of some of the outfits from the previous mods. Oh, 
Okay, now with this out of the way, oh no, almost three more gigabytes of technical competition sportswear. Sure, why not? And the worst part is, we are still not done. There is also a collection of leotards. I'm gonna call them Leo Retards because of reasons. Well, actually, it's just one outfit with lots of skins. But okay, we are almost out of this. The last mod, however, just had to be the cherry on the cake. I even had to alter its name before YouTube's algorithm gets any weird ideas. It's also kind of a fashion, I guess, so we can't just exclude it from our fashion show. And this is it for this episode. The links to all mods are as always in the description below. Don't forget to endorse the mods you like. And if you like, cool, follow for mods, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Or... Prepare to be eradicated. Thank you all for watching and see you around.